All right, grab the popcorn, pick out your favorite spot on the couch because there are a ton of new movies and shows that are dropping this month. And you know, tell us what to watch in September. Jacqueline Coley, she's from our sister company, Rotten Tomatoes. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you for having me back. So, full disclosure, I'm the only one here who hasn't seen Beetlejuice. Oh, so, so good. Uh, she saw it yesterday. He's uh -oh. seen it twice. Oh, yeah. And, but I have seen Fight Night, oh, the yeah. million dollar heist over on Peacock from our sister company. Both of them seem to be pretty solid. Yeah, we have two movies that are already out that folks can watch right now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice just had a $110 million weekend at the That's box huge. office. Yeah. Certified fresh at 76% on our tomato meter. It has also got an audience score right now on our popcorn meter of 82%. Wow. I mean, audiences and critics are really loving this new take so on well the Tim Burton classic. And I think it's also the fact that we add folks like Jen Ortega. We get Winona Ryder, Michael Keaton, and Catherine O'Hara back, but then we get this new tale that Folks love. I know y'all liked it. I liked it. Oh yeah. And then Fight Night. This is a moment of Black history yep. that we are now getting sort of Black Hollywood to come together and say, okay, we're gonna get Samuel L. Jackson, we're gonna get Don Cheadle, we're gonna get everyone together. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. And we're gonna Kevin have Hart. this like Fight Night. Looking at a Muhammad Ali's moment, it was absolutely such a great cast. It really was, and it was so well done. And Atlanta was just as much a character yep. yes. as anyone yeah. else in the Great world. soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah. Another one I'm super excited about with George Clooney, Brad Pitt getting back together in Wolves. Yes, I actually got to see this at the Venice oh. Film Festival. Ooh. I was there. These guys, everybody just wanted to see them together on screen. Wolves, these are lone wolves. They're out on a night, but they have to work together. So it's like this, we hate each other enemies sort <laughs> yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. At Venice, though, people waited for 12 hours to get these guys autographed. The premiere started like oh. almost an hour late because of how wow. many autographs they were doing. Oh, they were actually doing it. Was cool. Absolutely great. And also, fresh on the tomato meter, folks are already loving it. Awesome. All right, so, uh, Emily in Paris, but it's not in Paris. No, it's oh. Paris slash Rome. Okay. So we have the two of them together this time. But it's the second part of Emily in Paris. And just like the, you know, all the other seasons, it's the wish fulfillment that you get with Lily Collins. This time you get wish fulfillment, Paris and in Rome. It's also, I think, a show that's like, you just turn off your brain yeah. and watch it. And I, I think that. you can kind of feel like you guys are back in Paris. You're back mm -hmm. at the Olympics and you're <laughs> back on the Champs-Élysées. That would, that would be nice. <laughs> I am so looking forward to this next one. So the, we were just talking about this, I think, a couple of days ago. This is, um, we're talking about Oswald Cobblepot. Yes. Penguin, this series. Uh, yes. Penguin. I mean, this, this, this looks, the trailer looks hot. Yes, this is actually an extension of the Matt Reeves Batman. It stars Colin Farrell in a role that you won't even recognize him for. And I know you love this DC stuff. This one takes place five minutes after the last Batman. Five so, minutes? Yeah, yeah, five minutes after that. And so you watch Oswald as he sort of goes deep into this underworld. You try to figure out whether or not he is going to be able to sort of rise up. And it's an origin story of a mob boss. You can barely recognize Colin Farrell in this one. Oh, wow. He talked to me last year about how much he loved the role so much because it actually let him disappear in it. Like, you can't tell, no. tell me that you that's Colin tell tell yeah. Farrell. This, that this is not your grandfather's No, penguin. absolutely yeah. not. Although we did like that penguin. When is that? We did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drops in September? Yes, September that one drops 19. in September. I just saw the preview for this one, Wild the ro Wild Robot. Yes, this is Lupita Nyong'o. She this was just here yesterday. Yeah, right? it's a family film that I think a lot of folks should stop down and pay attention to because this is a story. It feels like Wally -E meets Castaway mm -hmm. meets Finding Nemo. And the it's, Iron again, Giant. Yes, a lot of that. It's about fi finding your family. It has a great voice cast with it, courtesy of DreamWorks, and it's already gotten rave reviews out of the TIFF. It just premiered at TIFF. It's mm -hmm. going to be in theaters later this year. Pedro Pascal, again, Catherine O'Hara, and Kit Connor, who folks will recognize from Heartstopper, is also involved in this Your one. kids are going to love this. It's, it's, it's the family it. film yeah, of the year. Great. I really feel it. Well, Jacqueline, that was great. Thank huh? you guys for having me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks yeah. for the popcorn. Thank I you know. for being here. <laughs> in the spot. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.